Craig, just watching you talk to the radio and the paper there, there is a huge amount of enthusiasm here. Why can you not be enthusiastic? You know, you know, if, if it's very easy on a daily basis to find hundreds of negatives. You know what I mean? Somebody pulled out in front of me in traffic this morning, that's a negative, but there's always a positive in that. I didn't crash. Nothing bad happened. Nobody died. So the, you should be as positive as you can because positivity, positivity breeds positivity. The more negative you are, the worse life's going to be. We can all be negative. It's dead easy at that. I know. Go, go north of the wall. Have a look at everybody up there. There's a lot of negative people kicking around the world. But there's no need for that. You know, the, the TV pundits, as you guys know in the press, they make a living out of being negative. Why not turn it the other way and be positive about every opportunity that gets given? Some opportunities don't happen very often. This one, this might be my chance. This might be the opportunity and I might never get another one. So why not embrace it and enjoy it for everything it is? It must be great for you to bring that attitude to the club and more importantly to the guys that you're going to be working with. I think when you come in the goalie group, that just takes over automatically because, like I said, I'm, I'm a goalkeeping geek. I love goalkeeping. It's what I enjoy. I enjoy watching them make a save, even a dead simple save. Um, but in the office, I'm petrified. Have you seen Tommy? Tommy stares at you. And then and then Muzz is over there just sort of out the corner. He's like, I don't know what to say or nothing. And then you've got the gaffers played in the World Cup. My brother sent me a photo on Monday night going, oh, is this your manager? And in the back was Maldini was blurred out. Who blurs out Maldini? You know what I mean? That, that doesn't happen anywhere. So, like I said, it's, it's, it, it, you could be negative about anything. The travelling, for instance. But there's no need for that. It's just be positive as you can. If you, the more positive you are, the better it will be. Clearly a vast amount of experience and clearly you enjoy sharing that with people. The experience. Everything's an experience. You know, that when you went to school as a kid, every day was an experience. Every day you learn something more and I don't think we should ever stop learning so that experience will be there and a goalie geek. The more the, the more the guys ask, the more information I'm happy to give them. Even if they don't ask, I'll tell them stuff. I need to remember to tell them the Utah thing, though. I didn't tell them that one yet. <laughs> I can save that for tomorrow. That can be the icebreaker in the morning tomorrow. I know Adam. Adam's been at the club before. He's, he's, he's yeah. known to Carlisle fans. He likes to learn. Louis is the same. How good is it to have people like that to work with? It's, again, the more, the more you can do to help people, the better it's going to be all round. You don't want to be bombarding them with just information. It's, it's it'd be so easy for me to stand in front of them and just tell them things, but they're not learning things if they're just being told. They're better off being able to ask a question and then together we can figure it out. What I've asked of them to do is work as a group. Only one of them can play. Those days are long gone for me, thankfully. So it's on them now to work as a pair. Only one of them can play. We know that. It's not. You know, as a goalie, it's not ideal that only one plays, but that's just the nature of the beast. So if they can work together and come up with questions, you know, Louis might, because he's a little bit younger, might be a little bit more nervous of asking questions. But if he can go to Adam and maybe Adam asks me the question and then together we'll come up with an answer instead of me just saying, this is what it is. It's better if they have their own thoughts into it and with those thoughts and that group think and that group sort of mindset, we can come up with something that's going to work for everybody. You are fresh eyes. Does that mean both these boys have got a clean slate? Well, I was born with these blue eyes, sir. You know what I mean? There's nothing else I can do about that. They were fresh when I was born and they'll stay fresh. Um, I think it's a teacher I had in college in America who said it's you should be childlike without being childlike. So if you take that attitude into it, everything is new and exciting. So being able to look at it and look at everything they do goalkeeping-wise every single day. You're seeing the same save over and over again, but every time you see it, you might catch something different. So being able to look at everything with that kind of mindset is, I think, very advantageous. Thank you.